Hello there and welcome to my brand new channel. This channel is going to be a shopping vlog channel exclusively about shopping, mostly food shopping I should imagine, like it's going to be today. So just to introduce myself, my name is Imogen, I have one grown up child, she's not a child anymore, she's grown up, but she's recently moved to university and she's actually coming back for reading week in a couple of days so I need to go to Tesco's right now and do a big shop of all the foods that she's going to enjoy eating throughout the week. Shall we go? Let's go, yeah. Well, I'm here at Tesco, I'm going for a big trolley. Now, there's a reason I'm getting a big trolley. And it's not because I'm gonna get a huge amount of shopping, although I'm gonna get a trolley's worth. There's a clue there. That's because I wanna hang that on there. It's a handy hook on the big ones. It rained, that will stay dry under my nice little umbrella from Tiger. Ooh, Christmas things are in. I'm gonna try not to get distracted. I'm focusing on food today. Oh, but they're nice. Speaking of Christmas though, look at all these advent calendars. They've got lint ones down there. I'm gonna start off with vegetables today. Can you believe £1.45 for all those peppers? I think that's amazing value. And do you know what? The packets are three, it's 139. There's only six pounds different. Now this is my favorite section, the reduced to clear section. I wonder what we're gonna get in here today. Toffee apples, looking a bit worse for wear, got to be honest, the 25p, I'll be passing on those. £1.46, I don't think that's a really low price, to be honest. Spinach, I love a bit of spinach, 92. Pineapple, 48. Apples, you'd have to eat those pretty quickly or make them into a pie or something, wouldn't you? £1.75. Mushrooms, I'm a mushroom lover. Oh, those aren't even reduced. It's not looking very exciting in here today. I'm gonna move on. We're going over here. I'm gonna grab a nice big courgette and an aubergine. They're looking a bit wrinkled, aren't they? I think they'll still be all right though. I'm gonna go for the least wrinkled. I'm gonna grab some spuds for Welsh baking potatoes for 99p with a club card, of course. Mustn't forget your club card when you come to Tesco. Well, you don't get to pay the club card prices, right? Like 78 pence for some broccoli. It's quite a small bit, isn't it, I think? But, oh well, get it anyway. My daughter loves a bit of broccoli. Those aubergines are looking a lot nicer on the end of aisle, actually. Would I be naughty to do a little switch? I'm doing it. There we are. I'm gonna grab some bananas. I try not to buy too many at once because they, they go off, don't they? It's gonna feel the last lot I bought. They were all squished and I didn't realize. Last time I bought bananas, they only had them in bags, but not for me, that was Lidl's. Yeah, they're all right, they're not squished. Mushrooms, my favorite. I prefer the big ones, the large flat cap mushrooms. So I just find them so much easier to prepare. They're not all fiddly and covered in little bits of, you know, what's it called, fertilizer. So it's just so much easier to clean. I'm gonna grab some Greek style yogurt, which is Tesco's own brand, and that's £1.10 for a pot that size. Oh, that looks nice. That packaging has lured me over there. Lemon curd. Oh. One pound fifty. Oh, do you know what? I really fancy that. No, I'm not going to get it. But I might another time. We'll see. I'm going to grab this mango kefir. I haven't had any for a while, but I'm going to try to go back to having little nips of it in the afternoon. I'm doing an about turn, so I've just realised I've forgotten the ginger. One pound twenty for a bag like that. Cheddar cheese is on my shopping list. I think I'm gonna go for the Tesco's Extra Mature Finest. That's £2.75 with a club card, it's normally £3.80. Oh, I got a waft of that, I smelt that before I saw it, that. Down to £2.60 with a club card. Le Roustique. La Roustink, more like. Stinks the fridge out, I have to put it in a Tupperware when I get that. I'm gonna buy myself a mozzarella. Those are 69 pence for the Creamfields brand. I'm getting into buying food for my daughter territory now. £1.50 for 25 pork cocktail sausages. She can just sort of snack on those out of the fridge when she fancies them. I just spider a juice to clear sticker. £1.40 for a great big cheese and onion pasty. Hmm, it's quite a good deal. I'm tempted because I am going somewhere this evening on the train and I'm thinking I could actually eat something on the train. So that's gonna go there. If not, my daughter will eat it. It won't go to waste, that's for sure. Now, my daughter loves the Peter's Premier sausage rolls. Always has done, so let's get one of those for her. I'm gonna impulsively get some pulses. It's an impulse. Oh, I'm gonna get some lentils in water, and those are 65 pence tin. I'm just gonna get the one. Ooh, my favorite brand of sausages are reduced to one pound 90. I'm gonna get those. I'm pescatarian. I don't eat meat, but I do eat fish. Hmm, what is this? 
One pound forty. Oh, that looks like it's got nuts in it. There might be beans. Let me have a look. My daughter's got a nut allergy, so I'm always a bit careful when she's going to be around, not to buy things with nuts in. Right, I've scanned through there. It's all right. It's got lemon in it, but she probably wouldn't eat these anyway. It would be for me. It would just be a contamination thing. I'd be concerned about. I'm going to give those a go. In they go. Oh my gosh, look at this. They've got pretend shrimps that are actually vegan. £3.50. People do sometimes say, well, if you like meat or fish, why don't you just eat it? Why be a vegetarian? It's because people do it for moral reasons, that's why. So, but they might be like really craving it, missing it, so that's for them. These have caught my eye over here, these Patax hot spice pastes. I wonder what they're like. I just always make my own from scratch with, you know, with spices. So I've never thought to do anything like that. Let's just move my trolley out of somebody's way. <laughs> Something my daughter loves is olives. I think she prefers green olives at the moment, so that's £1.10 for a jar, and they are pitted. Oh, we've got all these advent calendars. They look nice. Very inviting. Not yet, though. I'm going to hold off on that sort of thing for the time being. Hey, this is something I haven't seen before. I don't know if it's new. I'm wondering if it is. It's down to 125 with a club card, or 175 if you haven't got a club card. Oh, there's not much in there. It's the Alpo Barista Coconut. I absolutely love this in my coffee, so I'm gonna give it a go. It's a smaller carton than, you know, the normal long life ones, but I'll just get the one and see how it is. There's something very attractive about that packaging on the Alpro milk. <laughs> it just, it looks just the right kind of color. I think it's time I consulted my shopping list because I'm starting to go a bit off piece with my selections now. It is super crowded in here today. It's a Sunday, it is, and I don't always go on Sundays. I'm more of an evening shopper. Anyway, I love this. Tesco's own decaffeinated, Italian inspired. So I'm gonna get one of those. And I'm going to get one of the non-decaf as well. Those are both £3. I love my coffee. And I drink way too much of it, but that's another story. Darling daughter absolutely loves the Special K Juicy Red Berry Bars. And they're down to £1.25 for six bars at the moment. It literally feels so different buying shopping for other people than just yourself. Like it was really fun at first in a way. When she'd gone to uni, I was just buying stuff for me. It kind of felt really fun and fresh. I don't know, there's just something different about buying it for somebody else. There's a different kind of pleasure involved. I'm gonna buy a carton of Tesco's custard, which is 85 pence to put in the cupboard because I may well make a pie. A couple of packets of corn cakes. They are 125 for the club card. Whoops. Ooh, I see my favourite barista coconut milk. It's £2.30 at the moment, so I think I did well to get that little one. I tend to stock up on it a lot when it's on offer. Tesco's own crumpets, 45 pence for darling daughter. I'm going to get a big bottle of Vinto. Oh, that one's got a bashed in top there. I won't get that one, I'll have trouble pouring it. I'm going to go for that one. It's the sugar free, it's £3. And how many litres is that then? Is that two litres? Yes, it is two litres. My daughter has requested cereal with red berries, so I'm going to get that for 185 because I can't bring myself to pay £4 for the branded alternative. I've come over to the frozen section now, so you know I'm coming near the end. £2.50 for these chicken dippers, 22 in there. Not for me, obviously, for her ladyship. For £1.65, I'm going to grab these oven chips. Oh, that's quite a lot in there. I'm hoping I can carry this all home. It's starting to get a bit full. Oh, look at that strawberry gatto bar. Don't yeah, see the price. I expect it's two pounds something though, because the others are, aren't they? I don't normally look at the frozen dessert section, but they look like some amazing things in there. Banoffee pie, <gasps> lemon meringue pie, loaded strawberry meringue mess. I'll keep those in mind for another day, I think. I'm gonna buy myself some plain and simple rocket lollies. One pound 40 for eight, because I do like them all year round. Just tissues to get now, and then I'm gonna pay. Oh, look at those, £2.50 for four Tango Sub-Zero Tang lollies. They look very appetizing from the packaging. No idea what they're actually like. Well, I was rather hoping to see some cheap Tesco's own tissues, but they haven't got any of the super cheap ones, so I don't know if they've stopped doing them. Do I want to pay one forty-five for a little box? Well, I think I'd better, because we might run out with the young lady at home, because she blows her nose a lot, she's got allergies. Right, that's it. Oh, it's swizzled round, look. I'm back home and all my shopping's been put away and I've already had an ice lolly as a little post shopping treat. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. If you'd like to watch more shopping vlogs from me, do hit the subscribe button below. If you'd like to watch day in the life videos from me, do hit the I'll put an icon up there for my other channel or somewhere on here. It's Planetimo anyway, and I'll put it in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye!